And there it is. So I think it was about five years or so ago, I was using uh, an ARB fridge, and they're not terrible fridges. They're just not the best fridge on the market. You can look up all the videos you want. Um, pretty much everybody agrees. There are a lot of really high-end fridges you can get out there. But I found a far better fridge uh, that you can get in America. And there's a reason I chose to go with this fridge. It's Snowmaster. Now the reason I went with Snowmaster is because I was initially looking at what was considered to be the best in America or the best fridge you can get for overlanding and that type of thing. Um, and that was National Luna at the time. Now National Luna was a stainless steel fridge. Everybody was like crazy about it. You know, they, they were really expensive and they were like, oh, this is a South African fridge, mate. You know, you gotta have this one. It's legitimate, all the degrees and stuff. Anyway, so I had an ARB at the time. Then I was running two ARBs. Eventually I started to see flaws in that fridge. The flaw was is that if there was direct sunlight coming through my, my back window, right there on my other shelves. The fridge had to work like twice as hard just to keep the stuff cold. Um, it just couldn't keep up, it wasn't efficient. It didn't come with a bag, it didn't come with a remote, it didn't come with a dual compartment system. <clears throat> uh, there was a lot lacking in that whole platform. Now that was their old platform, mind you, and they have new stuff now. I just don't wanna go with ARB anymore. So, I go with Snowmaster. And this is the Snowmaster that I run in my truck. Currently, I'm running it in my garage as just a backup fridge for whenever I keep extra milks and stuff. So it's actually a full-time used fridge right now. You can plug it into the walls in the house and you can plug it into the back of your truck or in your RV or anything you want to do. This is actually their ice maker, it's super awesome. Let's take a closer look at this thing. This here is the next phase of what's going into my truck uh, just because I'm changing the way I'm storing things. And this trip that we're doing here, this is gonna go in the back of the RV. So this here is my Snowmaster 85D, or the E85D. E stands for Expedition Series. I really have no idea what the difference is between Classic and Expedition. It's probably something super simple that I could just read on the internet. I'm just too lazy. And this thing is the big one. This is the biggest one they have made so far, except for the new low profile. I think it's 85 or 95. And the D, in this name means dual compartment. So I actually have this up here because it's again going in that uh, RV over there. But I'll show you real quick. Two different power options, AC or DC. I just keep my plug here for the 12 volt inside the truck. Got tons of compartments that come with it. Got this right here. These handles are heavy duty. Those are awesome, solid. You can bolt and unbolt them. There is a bottle opener that I keep somewhere on here. I'm gonna put that thing. Oh, I might have taken it off. This cover has seen <laughs> better days. I don't feel bad for it though, because I have a plan to replace this with a really cool custom one later on. Either way, really awesome. Controls here. There's also a controller that I keep in my remote, so while I'm driving, I can just beep, 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 push it. Again, that's the thing I really liked about Snowmaster. Not only did it come with a cover, I didn't have to order it like for a hundred dollars more or whatever it is they sold it for, but it came with a remote. And the remote not only let, made it so you could monitor, in this case, both sides of this fridge at the exact same time, but you could set the temperatures remotely on the remote and it came with a flashlight in it and a backlight and the remote didn't need to have batteries put in it when you didn't have to charge it up with a usb cord it had its own little solar panel and they still do that's why snowmaster is better so getting into the fridge is pretty simple big latches these are heavy duty oh also you can lock them just open these things up and then let's do one at a time push this out of the way so <laughs> just mind you i'm out here to clean this thing before it goes into that so this is one side, I got my milk in it. On the other side, I got some things and some spilled milk that I have to clean, yuck, yuck. Anyway, so that's that fridge there. It's really big. Look how big it is compared to my foot. And I have a size 14 shoe. That's a really big fridge. So this is what it looks like without the cover, stainless steel. They've been doing this the whole time. And the cool thing is, is they have these little latches now, the older ones. They didn't have it, but you just do that, and you slide the doors off, and you can clean out the inside. Pretty snazzy. Anyway, 
now I can just go back to cleaning it. And when you're cleaning it out, you just pop these open, just like this, boop, boop, and the water drains out. Water goes in, water drains out. And that's how you clean them out. They got gold and I need a sweatshirt and a sandwich for a lunch break. Yay. So for a quick status update, I got my CVT tent up there, the Baja Designs lights everywhere. Uh, the front loader rack. Snug top outback, which has the two double doors. Gunner kennel here in the back. I keep a steel chainsaw in here. x bolt traction boards, Pro Eagle Jack. A whole toolkit here with even uh, impact wrenches. You know, the big drills. Juju. I got a pneumatic one. I got an air compressor uh, in the back so I can run pneumatic or battery. I have both in here. I keep a rescue box with bubble ropes and stuff in there. Just in case, I keep a bow saw, a shovel. I have two axes in here. Actually, I have a hatchet and an axe. Uh, fishing poles in case I get lost for so long, I need to uh, fish for my food. These dual batteries, I'm gonna swap these out on the way down south. I'm going to Texas to hang out with the guys at Snowmaster to fix these. Um, I, it's probably my fault, I, I killed them. Snow chains and this little thing right here, which I have to get all set up to go to make sure I'm good. Oh, and uh, because of this, actually because of the gunner kennel, the Snowmaster goes right here normally, but that is just too big. So we're gonna put the new Snowmaster here and the old Snowmaster in the back of that. And just like that. We're done. Just throw it back together. Cool deep basket. Just thing in there. back on all right so let's check out the low profile one in three two one and there it is the low profile a lot lower look <laughs> not quite as tall smaller capacity but again i'm not worried about that it's going back there the other one's still back there so being the low profile it's a lot slimmer, and uh, this is how they look when you get them. This rack is the same double rack on this side. Oh, and every Snowmaster has a built-in light coming. Oh, oops, that's the supports um, for shipping. And here's the other one. Got a cool rack in there. I'm excited. This is actually the smallest Snowmaster I've had so far. Um, but I don't need a huge capacity with what I'm doing. I just don't need it. I have all I need right here. I got this one. Your little 12 volt goes into a cigarette lighter. <laughs> I actually don't know what this is. This must be European or something. I don't know. I don't know. There's this plug, and then there's a typical house plug, 20 volt. That'll go, and that's actually what the other one's running on right now inside there. I'm super excited. This low profile one is easy to use. It's right here. All the controls you need are right here. Uh, power it up. And a little fusy bit right here. Same solid handles. This is trash. Um, take, I'm take off all the plastic buttons. That's that. Real simple, real easy. Even this one comes with a solar powered remote charger battery. Everything you need right there. It's awesome. Okay, so that's that. If you're in the market for a fridge, either it's a low profile or the biggest one they have, and this is actually the second largest low profile they have, I believe. Uh, the other one's absolutely enormous. But they're the way to go. If you're in the market for one that looks similar um, and from the same country, they're extremely hard to get, probably because they're so expensive that they don't import a lot of them. Uh, there are a ton of Snowmasters available. And as soon as things clear up as far as international shipping and stuff like that, um, it should be even easier to get these. But they sell really fast. That's a really high quality fridge right there. And that's what I've had and still have, I want to say, I have three, but I've had and then given away to friends probably about five or six. So Snowmaster, go check them out. And that fits perfectly in the same footprint as my uh, Expedition Series D85 or 85D, sorry. Look at that. I can get everything in here. It's not so tall like the other one where I could barely get the lid open. Not that I'm complaining really, because the capacity was so high, but that thing is money. 
Look at that. Mm -hmm. I still have to clean this whole thing out, but I think it's perfect. Anyway, like always, if you like the video, uh, like it, I guess. If you have any questions whatsoever, hit me up here or on my Instagram page, Sunday Adventure, or Sunday I'll Learn, or Sunday Dad. I got a lot of Instagram pages. Um, I answer those questions pretty much hourly. So, again, any questions, hit me up. Bye.